Day 277 in the Rabbis vs. Brad Pitt standoff, and there may be hope in sight. Right out of the Caneo Valley, I'm Mendy Pellin, and you're watching the Mendy Report on the Rabbinical News Network. Well, it all started almost a year ago. What experts believe would be a conventional 5 o'clock shadow quickly turned into a controversial beard and a major confusion of identity for this man, Rabbi Baruch Finkelstein. I was coming out of my synagogue, and all of a sudden, a substantial amount of people started asking me for my autograph. I didn't understand it at all. But he quickly realized that this was a classic case of mistaken identity. Someone showed me a photograph. His beard is a, a, a growth of, of note, just as mine is. And we look extremely alike, almost like two brothers in a certain sense. Many rabbis around the globe started reporting to Amnesty International that they too were being mistaken for a celebrity. People always walk over to me and say, Brad, Brad. It used to be when I was younger, they would come over to me because they thought I was easy top. But now they're getting me it, it, with this new Brad Pitt look. I mean, it's, I, can't, I can't park my car. People are screaming. Well, my friend told me that Brad gave a sermon at the synagogue last week. I can't believe I missed it. But the celebrity status quickly turned from exciting to unmanageable. At first I was thinking, wow, I can get used to all these cameras. It's pleasant in some ways, but it's so pervasive now. There are crowds outside my house. He should do the right thing and cut it. Avoid confusion. Because it's, it's not under our own names, it's under Brad Pitt's name, we cannot untag our own pictures to be ourselves anymore. I'm not Brad Pitt. I don't want anything to do with Brad Pitt. I'm finished with Brad Pitt and people coming and bothering me. So we most humbly request, please, please cut your beard. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, the schnauzel stops right here because we're looking out for you.